Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to my channel and my messy workbench. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a little mini picnic table. Um, you've probably seen the picture floating around on the internet right now. There is a squirrel sitting at a little picnic table that's mounted to a fence. And my daughter saw that and it's the cutest thing. Um, she sent a picture to me. And I have a little chipmunk that hangs around at my house that will actually come and eat out of my hands. So she sent me the picture and said, your chipmunk needs a little picnic table. And you know what, I couldn't agree more. So just based on what I saw in the picture, I kind of came up with my own dimensions and uh, just kind of figured it out. So I'm gonna share those with you and show you the process behind it. So I'm a flag maker and have a lot of scrap wood laying around. And I just grabbed what I had on hand. And so basically you're gonna need these two sizes. They're both 5 eighths of an inch thick. But this one is an inch and a half wide and this one is an inch and a quarter so of those planks that you have you're going to need to cut so with the ones that are five eighths by an inch and a half deep you're going to need to cut eight inch pieces and you're going to need five of those also that same board you're going to need to cut four 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 inch pieces but with a 10 degree angle on each end these are going to be the legs and they're going to go like that then of the planks that are 5 8 inch by an inch and a quarter, you're going to need to cut two 6 inch pieces and two 3 and a half inch pieces. And that's all there is to it. So let's start. Okay, so the first step is taking three pieces of those 8 inch pieces and you're going to glue them together. I try to choose ones that look the nicest because that's what's really going to show. I like Type-On, but you can use any glue. You can use Elmer's glue. I realize everyone's dealing with this virus and probably can't get out to the store like normal. So if you just have Elmer's glue on hand, that should work. Um, this is for a chipmunk. It isn't for an elephant to sit on. A lot of what I do is just feeling the ends for evenness. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do after I've taken the three pieces out of the clamp is to kind of clean up some of that dried glue. And um, I always wear my eye protection even when I'm doing my sander. <laughs> Okay, so what I did was take, I took my sander and just knocked down any of the glue in like the high spots. Um, and then I kind of added like a nice little bevel on the edges to kind of give it a finished look. Okay, so once I have that finished, um, what I did, I picked, the, I chose which side looks prettier. That's obviously going to be the top. So you want to put that face down. Okay, so then you want to find your two three and a half inch pieces. And okay, so from each end, I want to come in a, an inch and a quarter. So I want to come in an inch and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to come in an inch and a quarter, and then I'm going to take, see this is scrap wood, so like that piece is kind of messy, but I want the nice, nicer finished piece, finished edge, like that one's kind of rounded a little bit. I'm gonna choose whatever one is um, like straighter and nicer to face out, like so. Because now my table legs are going to attach to this. So being that it's scrap wood, it isn't gonna be perfect. Um, but who cares, it's like for chipmunks anyway. So what you wanna do is put on some glue. And then you want to line up that edge with 
with the line you just made. And I'm gonna get my trusty nailer. You could use screws if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna use brad nails. What do I have? That's a little bit too thick. I'm gonna use, for this part, I'm gonna use an inch um, brad nail. These are 18 gauge. And always make sure, definitely make sure that you wear your eye protection. And these are kind of loud, so I wear my ear protection too. And then I just basically wanna make sure that these are about even. Okay, and I just want to make sure I get a nail into each board. Okay. Split a little bit on me. Oh well. Might split a little bit, but it'll be okay. All right, so then the next thing you wanna do, grab your four inch pieces with the angles on the end. And they're gonna go where the end of this leg kinda rests up against the end of that. So that one's gonna go like that, and that one's gonna go like that, and I kinda, take a look to make sure like the one the pieces that face out look nice if at all possible mm, I'm not in love with that one let's do that and we'll do that that looks good okay so there's those two pieces. okay and so what you need to do is Put a little glue on the bottom and then on this inner side. Okay, and because I'm shooting through, this wood is thicker, I'm gonna switch my um, nails to an inch and a quarter. Okay. And this leg lines up with the outside, and I'm just going by feel the leg ends up with the outer edge of that one. So then I'm gonna shoot, I'm just gonna shoot one nail and I'll show you why. Just gonna shoot one in each for right now. Kind of stabilize it. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna do like one to hold it in place, and then I kind of get something like. Um, so if you gotta like move them around a little bit, you kind of can just to make sure that it hits level. That's why I kind of do one first. Kind of hard to film this and do it. Okay, so I can see that 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 looks good right there. So I'm gonna do this one and fasten it. All right, so that seems pretty secure. I'm just gonna make sure that these kind of hit. There. Okay, so again, do that on the other side. And my camera kind of shifted as I was doing that, probably from the um, Brad nailer. So basically what you wanna do is Choose the sides that look the nicest, if you can, to put it on the outside. And when you 
nail, glue and nail these, you want the edge of this part of the leg to kind of line up feel-wise with the outside of that. And this split, well, I nailed it, but whatever. Okay, glue on the bottom, glue on the side, glue on the bottom, glue on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot one into it to stabilize it. Always watch your fingers, that'll ruin your day. Okay, and then once I've got them there, then I can kind of adjust this around and make sure that when it's in theory, resting, it won't teeter-totter. Okay, so that looks about good there. So. I, I usually do about three brad nails per leg. And you just wanna sh make sure it's shooting into this material here. So if one goes awry, either, you know, like take it out and redo it. So this is what we have so far, okay? Then the next step is to come in about an inch from the bottom. inch up from the bottom okay once we do that we're gonna find our two six inch pieces and these actually feel like they're a little thicker but with scrap but you might actually the camera might pick that up that is that's got to be a little thicker than five eighths um, it won't matter though. And I'm going to put the nice flat edge. It feels like it's a little rounded here. I'm going to put the nice flat edge up. Okay. So basically same thing, glue and nail. Make sure it's level and you want to check it. Make sure it's about even on each side. The overhang. Okay. So once you're happy with that, Okay, so I just did that for sake of um, getting it tacked in. And then if you want to, you can finish because it's easier to get to. You can uh, add a couple more in from the outside. Watch your fingers. Okay. Same thing with the other side. A little bit of glue. Shoot a couple in. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And then the last part is to get the two eight inch pieces that we set aside. And I kind of look for the prettier. That has a right eye. I might give this a quick sand. Gonna see on these real quick. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. 
I use it way more than I thought I ever would. Okay, so then as you might have guessed, the last part is to take these and attach them. Spot of glue, spot of glue. I'm gonna pick the prettier side to face out. Ooh, which one's the prettier side? They're both kind of, let's see if I can clean this one. <laughs> Okay, made that look a little bit more presentable. Mm, I like this top better. Okay, so same deal. Go this way. With the help of a flat edge, line it up. Okay. finished product and what you could do um, I'm sure this isn't perfectly flat but if you have any high spots and it doesn't sit perfectly level you can just take a sander and get anything that might be you can hit anything that might be kind of goofing you up um, so I this is actually the first one that I built right here that was my prototype um, and then after that, I went a little crazy. Um, I made another one. Um, my daughter suggested doing one with like an umbrella. So I did one, I made an acorn top. Um, and this is just basically, I made the picnic table and drilled a hole in the center of it, found a stick. And you can find any object that kind of resembles an acorn top. In my case, this is actually, um, it went with like a, a glass, like a Disney glass, um, and it screwed on the top. So what I did was put a layer of glue around the, the perimeter and then just took it and dipped it in sawdust. So, um, isn't that cute? So I did one like that. And then if you do, this is a perfect size like for a chipmunk, and I also have birds showing up to eat off of it. Um, actually, you know what I might do? is make this a bird one and maybe attach eye hooks um, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make this into a bird one. Um, so yeah, this is another chippy one. If you do want to do one for a squirrel, I did one of those too. Um, right now it's kind of just attached to my tree. I'll include a, a quick shot of it. Uh, it's just attached to a tree. What I think I might do is build like a deck underneath it and steps going up to it if I have time. So it's basically the same thing that I just did for the chippy, um, except the dimensions are a little bit bigger. I used a little bit chunkier wood um, and I just kind of like added on to each of those. So for my templates, I used, um, instead of the eight inch pieces, I used 10 inch pieces. And I actually, where I made these chipmunk tables three, three boards thick, I did the squirrel one four boards thick. So if you're gonna do the squirrel one, you're gonna need six pieces of this versus the five that I did for that. And then the legs, where the chipmunk ones were the four inch with the 10 degree angle cut to them, um, I did six inch long boards for the legs, that's for the squirrel. Okay, so then for the piece that goes underneath the table, um, I used a six inch piece. And then for the piece for the chipmunk table that went like this, I used eight inch pieces. And actually this was a little bit short. It might not work out like that for you, but I would maybe go like nine inches with that. Cause that was, a, it still worked, but I would have liked to have had more to nail into. Um, and so you might want to add a little bit. So I would suggest like a nine inch piece. Um, so let me know in the comments if you like it and please subscribe. I have a shorter version of this video on TikTok. Please follow me there as well. And if you like the shirt that I have on, this is yours truly. Those are my feet. Um, this is a picture I took of myself depicting the feminine and like the masculine side of me. Um, so I do have merchandise. There's uh, mugs and some t-shirts for men and for women. So Thank you for watching. I hope you find this helpful and I hope that I know we're all kind of cooped up during quarantine and kind of looking for projects to do. Um, I mentioned on TikTok I have even more uh, crafty things over there. Uh, some videos are the same as on YouTube. Some are a little bit different. 
Um, so if you're looking for things to keep yourself occupied, I hope this is something that you can do. It's great to do with kids, kind of give them the basics of working with wood. And I've rambled enough. So I just, I thank you all for your support and I thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.